Good afternoon to you. More than 250 flood warnings are in place across England and Wales after more heavy rain yesterday and overnight. Hundreds of people across the country have evacuated their homes and the flooding has also brought misery for commuters with road and rail travel significantly disrupted. Well, these are the pictures from Nottinghamshire where a major incident has been declared. Officials say the water level in the River Trent is the highest seen in more than 20 years. It's flooded more than 100 properties. Meanwhile, in East London, evacuations took place overnight after a canal burst its banks in Hackney. Around 50 people were reportedly taken to safety. In Bath, residents there were met with torrents of water, those lapping at their doors, all of that following heavy rain during the night. Well, here uh, we can see a live map of all the flood warnings and alerts currently taking place across England. At the areas which are marked in red, you may be able to decipher them. Well, those are where the Environment Agency says flooding is expected. Their advice there is to turn off gas, turn off water, electricity, uh, and use flood barriers if you have them. Move belongings, move pets and people upstairs or to safety. And at the orange uh, areas on this map, there is a flood alert. Now, that means that flooding is possible. Uh, people there should simply prepare in case the situation worsens. Well, in total across England, there are currently 253 flood warnings where people should take action and 275 of those orange flood alerts. As for Wales, right now, there are flood warnings in Tenby and Monmouth. Those mean that people should take action and eight active alerts through central areas. Because of this flooding, well, many commuters are facing major disruption. Great Western Railway has said passengers should expect short notice cancellations and a reduced service on long distance routes throughout the day. And landslips near Crewkern in Somerset and at Alsey in Bed the Bedfordshire area are disrupting South Western Railway and Thameslink services, respectively. Meanwhile, on the roads, police in Gloucestershire have warned of closures due to rising sea levels. Sky's Fraser Maud has the latest for us from York. The good news here in York is a little bit like the River Trent. The River Ouse is receding at the moment. It peaked on Wednesday at around 4.4 metres. Just to give you an idea of the normal range is somewhere between 0.05 metres and 1.9 metres is the usual uh, range for the River Ouse here in York at what's called the Viking Recorder, which is what the Environment Agency take their readings from. So it peaked on Wednesday at about 4.4 metres. At the moment, the river levels are at 3.8 metres, so still quite a bit above the normal uh, height that you would expect the river to be. And you can see behind me uh, the impact that it's having here. The people of York are in many ways used to... Uh, to seeing seems similar to this down here i'm standing on king's stave just over the river is queen's stave it's an area well known for pudding the, uh, for, for flooding the uh, uh, the king's arms is a, a pub down on the corner there that uh, is well known uh, for its flooding here in york so the people who do live by the river they have got flood defenses in place they've got flood barriers uh, to their properties it's something that they are used to but clearly uh, we've had exceptional rain over the past few weeks. The ground all around York, uh, many of the river tributaries, many of the, the uh, river catchment areas are, uh, are already flooded. The water table is incredibly high. It's going to take some time for the water to, to drop away. It's uh, expected to, to fall away to something more like uh, normal levels, something more like um, uh, 2.3 metres, so that's about 40 centimetres or 13, 14 inches or so uh, above its normal level by Sunday, as long as we don't get any more rain. At the moment, there's a really fine drizzle in the air. Uh, there is no major heavy rain forecast for the next couple of days, so that should help alleviate the situation here. So some flood warnings that were in place over the past couple of days have now been removed. There are still five flood warnings in place here in York. This is one of the areas, clearly, that uh, where one of those flood warnings is in place. And we're hearing from uh, people like North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue advising people to take exceptional care when they are out uh, travelling, particularly near flood water. They say that anyone who gets stranded in flood water, if that flood water is moving, that automatically prompts uh, a full agency, uh, multi-agency response, which would see ambulances, fire crews, police, all attending the scene. Um, if you're in stationary flood water, perhaps uh, there won't be such a, a rapid response and such a drain on resources, but uh, people are being warned that if you do get stuck in flood water, that is really just going to to create a drain on resources on the emergency services when they could be perhaps 
uh, helping people who are in greater need than those who've just simply got stuck in flood water because they've made a bad decision. I think over on the, the buildings that you can see behind me, you can see the amount that the flood water has fallen. You can see where the high tide mark was from, from Wednesday, uh, a, a good couple of feet above where it is now. But the good news is, at the moment, no heavy rain. The river is receding. We're expecting it to get back to something like its normal flow and normal levels uh, by the end of Sunday, maybe Monday. Fraser Maud there in York. Well, in Gloucester, streets have been cut off and residents flooded in. Skies, Dan Whitehead is there. Yeah, hello from Alney Terrace, just by the River Severn in Gloucester, where you can see the properties here have been significantly affected. We've been here for the last couple of hours. A lot of the properties have now been evacuated, but a number of people are still inside some of the homes. Where that lady is there, there is a gentleman uh, who has dementia. He's there with his son and he uh, isn't leaving. We've seen people bring out uh, their, pa uh, their pets at a cage with a couple of, of cats in. Look, these properties are no strange to floods we're right on the edge of the river seven here but again what we were hearing from Tewkesbury up the road yesterday and again here in Gloucester is that this is the worst they've seen it since the floods of 2007 it's not just this road West End Parade that carries on around the corner here you might just be able to see a bit of a current really and this is uh, really a sign of how that water is pushing in from the seven still uh, and continuing to flood the houses we've just been speaking to wayne and his father dennis uh, he is also ill uh, on oxygen in his house and they've just evacuated uh, him but some people are staying put uh, hoping that the river now and these water levels have uh, peaked but tidal issues are a concern uh, and many are saying look we're just going to get out for a couple of days here just just behind us, we can't see it here, but the Environment Agency are pumping. They've got a huge pump here uh, that is working 24-7 uh, to try and get that water out of these streets. Um, but they are fighting at the moment a bit of a losing uh, battle because there's no sign at the moment of these waters going down anytime soon.